Good evening and yes, in this video, I will be sharing to you my responses, interpretations of this course activities. So we are now in module 3A, which is all about designing instruction in the different learning delivery modalities. So for lesson 1, this is all about understanding the different learning delivery modalities. All right. Activity 1. The direction goes like this. Do a quick check of your knowledge of the four modalities prescribed in the learning continuity plan, face-to-face -face learning, distance learning or DL, blended learning or BL, and homeschooling. In your own words, define each modality. Write your own definition in your study notebook. When you are done, check lesson 1. Activity 1, answer key 1 to see how well you did. So let us now check your work from our answer key. Alright, when we say face-to-face -face or F2F -F learning, that refers to a learning delivery modality where the teacher and the learners are physically in one venue. There are opportunities for active engagement, immediate feedback, and socio-emotional development of learners. It may be conducted in any available physical learning space. Next, we have distance learning. This refers to a learning delivery modality where a learner is given materials or access to resources and he or she undertakes self-directed study at home or in another venue. Learners engage in independent learning at home or any physical learning space applicable by using learning materials that are accessible either online, stored on CD, DVD, USB, flash drive, or in printed form, or by viewing TV lessons or listening to radio-based instruction while being geographically distant from the teacher. The teacher supervises and monitors the learner's progress and provides remediation and enhancement when needed and possible. Assistance may be provided by a learning facilitator who may be a parent or any member of the family or a community stakeholder. Blended Learning this refers to a learning delivery modality using a combination of the features of face-to-face -face learning and distance learning. It can be of these four. Face-to-face -face and modular distance learning. Face-to-face -face and online distance learning. Face-to-face -face and TV-based instruction, radio-based instruction, or face-to-face, -face, and any combination of the other types of distance learning. Next, homeschooling. This refers to an alternative learning delivery mode or ADM that provides learners with access to formal education while staying in an out-of-school environment with parents, guardians, or tutors, as authorized facilitators instead of classroom teachers. This does not preclude going to a school in a specific periods to develop learning competences that require the use of laboratory, equipment, and others. It uses any or a combination of the various learning delivery modalities. Now answer this question. Which of the learning delivery modalities do not have a face-to-face -face learning component? Write down your answer in your study notebook. Then check it against lesson 1, activity 1, answer key 2. Have it. The answer is, of course, 
distance learning and homeschooling if done via distance learning. Yes. So, for our next, of course, we are then of our lesson one, activity one. So, now let's proceed to lesson one, activity two. Now, for activity two. The direction goes like this. Read two documents, Guidance on Distance Learning and Non-Negotiable Minimum Requirements for Distance Learning. As you go through the readings, complete the distance learning matrix. Share your completed matrix at your next class session. Your goal is to come to a shared understanding with your peers on the different distance learning modalities and their defining features and requirements. This is now the distance learning matrix. All right. So, we have here distance learning modality, we have distinguishing feature, essential resources, role of teachers, role of parents, or household member, role of school. So, for our modular distance learning, or MDL, it is a learning delivery that is in form of individualized instruction where learners use self-learning modules, or SLMs, in print or digital format. Essential resources, we have self-learning modules or SLMs in print or digital form that set textbooks, learning materials. For teacher's role, we have provider of SLMs, then they monitor the people's learning through text messaging, audio, or video calls. Role of parents, they are learning facilitators, supervise and monitor their child's progress, instructional support provider. Then for the role of school, they orient the teachers, parents, and learners of these modular learning policies and direction, completes the learning materials needed for distribution. Next, for online distance learning or ODL, that is a learning delivery modality where the teacher facilitates learning and engages learners' active participation from various technologies connected to the internet. Essential resources, digital devices, includes here laptops, tablets, smartphones, and desktop computers with available online resources and internet connectivity. Of course, their internet connection, deep ed commons, learning portals. So for the role of our teachers, they are learning facilitators, they are expected to give assignment and learning tasks, observers of digital empathy, monitor learners' difficulties, and provide interventions to cater the problem. Then for the parents' role, they supervise and monitor the screen time of their learners or learner. They supervise and monitor the progress of their children's online learning. So for the role of school there, they ensure that ICT coordinator and teachers are knowledgeable on managing LMS or learning management system and navigating deep ed commons and the learning and the LR portal. They orient the teachers, parents, and learners about the online learning policies. Next, we have here the TV-based instruction or TVBI. It is a learning modality where it uses or it uses television programs in the field of distance education. So, their essential resources, we have educational television programs, instructional television, soft learning materials, learning materials, or textbooks. So, for the teacher's roles there, they distribute the needed supplementary materials, references to learners. 
They enhance understanding of key concepts and clarifications on areas of confusion through phone calls. So, they also supervise, monitor the learner's progress and provides remediation and enhancement if needed. So, for the role of parents, they ensure children's access to television, supervise and monitor the progress of their children's learning, as well as provide guidance to their children. Then there, we have the role of school, orients the teachers, parents, and learners about the TV-based instruction policies. Then we have, pro they provide... Our school provides complete and appropriate content, learning modules, self-learning modules, in video. They also, school also supplements learning references, materials to distribute to learners. For our radio-based instruction or RBI, it is a learning delivery mode that uses radio broadcasts and delivering lessons. Essential resources, we have their radio, radio teacher, radio characters, learning modules, self-learning modules in radio-based lesson format or script. The role of teachers, distribute the needed supplementary materials, references to learners, enhance understanding of key concepts and clarification and areas of confusion through phone calls, supervise, monitor the learner's progress, and provides remediation and enhancement if needed. So for the role of parents, they ensure children's access to radio instruction. They supervise and monitor the progress of their children's learning as well as provide guidance to their children for the role of school orients the teachers parents and learners about the radio-based instruction policies provides complete and appropriate content such as learning modules self-learning modules in radio-based lesson format or script then also supplements learning references or materials to distribute to learners. For the blended learning, it is a learning delivery modality that uses a combination of the features face-to-face -face learning and distance learning, essential resources, self-learning modules in print or digital, various technologies connected to internet, internet connectivity, the Ed Commons, all our portal, ready-based lesson, format script, format or script, educational television programs. So for the role of teachers, they check in often by children by sending, all right, they check in often their children by sending instant messages or a bullet-pointed summary of what is expected. Conduct survey to monitor learners' difficulties and see how they have been progressing. Provide SLMs, learning references, and distribute to learners. For the role of parents or household member, they ensure children's access to radio, TV, and other form of learning instructions. Supervise and monitor the progress of their children's learning as well as provide guidance to their children. Learning facilitators, instructional support, provider. So for the role of school, orients the teacher, parents, and learners of the blended learning policies. Provides complete and appropriate content, learning modules, self-learning modules, references, or any supplementary materials in print or digital copies. Then they ensure the ICT, that ICT coordinators and teachers are knowledgeable on managing learning management system and navigating deep ed common and LR portal. All right, note that when a vaccine is already available and face-to-face -face will be allowed by the Interagency Task Force or IATF and by the Local Government Unit LGU concerning any of the 
Distance learning modalities may be combined with face-to-face -face learning to come up with a blended learning. Learn more about blended learning and the supplementary handout on blended learning delivery modalities. So I guess that's all and thank you so much again for watching and listening. I'll catch you again soon. Thank you and good night. Bye-bye. Pamco Vlogs channel for you guys again. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so you will never get missed of our future videos. Thank you, Teacher Death, for you guys.